Hi guys, I'm Marcel and you are watching The Pulse. Last week, just last week, kind of flew under the radar for a lot of us because it came up on a YouTube channel that really isn't watched by a lot of our community, the longevity community. However, you know, Peter Diamandes is a part of that longevity community and um, he interviewed David Sinclair. So when I saw the date on this, and uh, it, I got very intrigued by it and decided, okay, I'm going to watch this. And I like listening to Peter Diamantes. He seems like a good guy. He makes some really good points. In the scope of this conversation, now, NMN did not come up in the entire interview, other than in the context of talking about Metro Biotech, David's company, who submitted an NAD boosting drug, that's how he referred to it. So now he's not saying MIB626, he's not saying NMN, he's just saying NAD boosting drug. And then he, he admits that it's going to take two to three years to attain, obtain FDA approval for this drug. One of them that I'm developing, actually a few of them at Metro Biotech, a spin out from my lab from 10 years ago. Um, and so that is a, a a study and a company that looks at NAD boosters for pharmaceutical use for diseases of aging. And that one, if all, all goes well, it's uh, probably two to three years away. I literally just, I wanted to throw things at the screen, but of course I kept watching. And uh, I just, that's exactly what I told some commenters who were saying, yeah, it should be a drug. It's gonna be safer. It should be this, and it should be released as a drug. And I've got a lot of points on that topic, but just this point alone, two to three years before it's going to be approved. And then they talk a lot about how much money, hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars to develop new drugs. Then you got to promote them. Listen, NMN is already an expensive molecule to manufacture. That's not going to instantly change because you make it an exclusive drug. So, you know, for some context, for those of you that may have missed it, the FDA wrote a letter a couple months ago stating that NMN could no longer be sold as a dietary supplement. Now, it's a $100 million industry. It's helping countless people. I know of over 1,000 people through this channel taking NMN and getting great results. I take it myself. I'm extremely thrilled with it. I do not want them coming and taking it away from me. I'm just being perfectly clear and upfront about that. This if they were to pursue this further, it would really be the equivalent of a midnight raid on supplement companies to rip NMN out of uh, people's hands that's on its way to elderly people. I said it in another video, little old ladies, and they are. They're, they're old ladies and old men who just want to be, who just want to feel healthy and get over whatever they're getting over. They want some quality of life back. I've heard from so many people in their 80s that are now taking NMN and they have a quality of life that's returned to them and they're so grateful for it. And David Sinclair, by the way, is responsible for these people taking NMN. So the irony or the, ah, I, I don't want to use the ugly words, but you can imagine what I'm thinking. Um, the it, this is very upsetting to think that the same person who created this entire market for NMN in the supplement realm with his book, which he mentions his first book, even mentions the page that lists NMN and, and the other things in his protocol. So he's still profiting from talking about NMN by selling a book and mentioning the page. I mean, in David's letter, he mentioned, I want to make very clear that while any deep boosters such as NMN have become popular supplements in part because of my research, I am not and have not in any way been involved as an owner, co-founder, investor, shareholder, marketer, so spokesperson, or sponsor of any company that sells any deep boosters as supplements. Um, Athletic Greens AG1 product includes niacin, which they specifically list the, one of the benefits of niacin, the primary benefit that they list, is NAD boosting. So again, you know, you're selling a book where you talk about NMN, you list the page as recent as last week, you promote, you're a spokesperson for, a paid spokesperson for Athletic Greens, they sponsor your podcast, and they sell an NAD booster. Okay, so we'll put that 
As I said, that was a, it seemed like a false claim at the time. And after a tiny bit of dig- digging in, it's clearly a false claim. The people out there saying that NMN should be sold, sold as a drug, I never said it shouldn't or couldn't. I'm saying that it it makes no financial sense to the people that want to take NMN. The people that want to take NMN today and for the next two to three years. And how many years then, by the way, say they are successful, Metro Biotech, getting the name right now, not downsizing them at the moment to Micro Biotech, which I actually think is a better name, by the way, Metro. I'm not sure how Metro fits into Biotech, but I digress. This video made a great argument. And I thought Peter Diamandes made great arguments to keep things, at least reform the way we do things. But uh, at least with NMN, if you take his points, I think it should, I clearly believe it should be sold as a supplement, but he makes some very good points. He said, we need a radical departure from traditional medicine. Couldn't agree more. He also said, we need to reinvent how we do this, talking about the FDA and how you know drugs cost hundreds of millions of dollars uh, to be uh, approved by the FDA. There are substances that are safe because people take them and don't have downsides. Yes, a million people taking NMN should be taken into consideration when you're approving the substance for safety. I don't think we need you know redundant safety tests Um, for NMN at this point, just because a company wants to profit on it and uh, basically fill out some paperwork to supersede all of the supplement companies that proved its efficacy or safety. And both, really, Um, from a a, uh, anecdotal standpoint at minimum, which is not insignificant. People are happy with it. They're willing to pay a lot for it. And they're reordering it over and over. So that proves some things. That proves minimally... Uh, financial viability. So of course they're going to fill out some paperwork, you know, and go down the path with the FDA to try to reap the rewards. I just don't think it's right. I don't think it's right to the old people like myself. I'm pushing 60. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm an elderly guy who just wants my NMN. Okay. Um, I'm getting a bit grumpy over it. <laughs> now, what did David talk about in this video? And when you look at the things he did talk about. Well, I'm, I'm active on social media, um, so find updated news there. Uh, my podcast is still available, and I'm working on season two, uh, and that's on all podcast outlets. Uh, my book, I think uh, a lot of people got inspired by. Um, my book is called Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have to. And I didn't get to talk a lot about what I do in my, in my daily life, which supplements and that kind of thing, but that is outlined in large part on page 304 of Lifespan. So check that out. Um, that's the cheat sheet, but please do read the science as well and all of the future that's coming. So that's where to find me. Um, that is a good spot. Other than that, um, I'll be, uh, I'm working on a, on a TV show that, uh, I'll let you know how that goes. His drug company, his new book he's working on, his new podcast he's working on, a television show he's working on, and oh, a hundred million dollar X prize to the to the organization or laboratory that could successfully reverse aging the most over a one year period. Um, you know, could that be Metro Biotech? He, I doubt they'd exclude themselves. The entire podcast with his buddy not only didn't cover NMN directly, didn't cover the issue that is most interesting to this entire audience that he created, this customer base for NMN that he created from basically almost nothing, from nothing. And he won't even address it, yet he ticks off all of these different self-promotional projects that he's got going on and how David Sinclair basically is going to make his money. I mean, that's all he's talking about. Drug company, book, podcast, TV show, $100 million prize. Boom, wrap it up. That's all I had to say. That's the whole show. That was the whole show. Peter Diamantes, on the other hand, did push back. He pushed back on the FDA. He, he pushed back on the way we're doing things. 
Um, he says people should have a right to try. There was one funny part of the episode where uh, David Seclair did say aging is very risky because, as I've mentioned, it's a risk-reward scenario. Do you want to take something like NMN? Well, you need to weigh the pros and the cons, the risks versus the rewards. For me, the rewards outweigh the risks. He said, you know, aging is pretty risky. And I think that's a great line. And uh, Peter laughed and said, yeah, it's known to cause death. <laughs> and then uh, Seclair says, it runs in my family. So this is witty stuff uh, about the riskiness of aging. But at the same time, it's very frustrating to hear because we're aging more gracefully in this community, in this channel's community, taking in a man. And again, He's behind an effort to try to take it away. We're going to keep fighting for it. We're going to keep fighting for your NMN. You could still get NMN at uh, most of the larger NMN uh, resellers out there. Do not age is what I take. Again, as always, there is a uh, discount code in the description and links to the supplements that I take. We'll see you guys soon.